Got you loud and clear. Over. Go ahead. the other astronauts who are coming to space and help them with our experience of being up here. Over. Well, I have to say floating. It's sort of like being a fish, but it's also like being a bird. And you learn how to use your feet instead of your hands sometimes to grab onto things. It's pretty cool. Over. Probably the northern lights, because you really see that there's a lot of power in the universe in this green thing is hitting the earth and it's pretty spectacular. Over. The temperature can range from like minus 200 to plus 200. Actually, we were out there yesterday and we were wearing our big spacesuits, which have thermal um, uh, layer as well as micrometeorite layer, as well as a pressure bladder. Over. Fun. Your hair stands on end, then everything flows. Like I was saying, sometimes you lose things and things don't fall to the ground. And so that's a little annoying, but floating yourself is a lot of fun. Over. are normal at home on Earth are typical to do, for example, going to the bathroom or losing things. Over. It's very easy to float and you can't get away from doing it while you're up here, so you just have to learn. Over. Most of our food is pre-cooked, and so we just have to heat it up, but we have everything from uh, sweet and sour tofu to uh, lasagna to fish. Over. Yeah, it's pretty good, and sometimes you learn how to put things together and make things like when you like to mix things, like I make peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a piece of uh, tortilla that we have up here. Over. HB9TSO, this is Oscar Romeo 4 ISS. Over. HB9 TSO, this is OR4 ISS, over. HB9 TSO, this is OR4 ISS, over. Loud and clear now. Over. Actually, a spoon will do. Most of our food is a little bit sticky like a casserole, so our a spoon will do just fine. No knives or forks needed. Over. Well, there's folks on the ground who plan for that, so they plan on bringing up food like a year in advance for when you're here. So usually there's going to be food unless there's some type of problem. Over. So each of us have our own little sleep stations, and then we sleep in a sleeping bag so you don't float all over the place. And it's pretty comfortable. Over. It's not that convenient. You have to make sure you have pretty good aim because stuff starts to float. 
So it has a little bit of a vacuum suction to pull stuff in the right direction, but you have to, you do have to be very careful. Over. Well, probably I miss my dog the most, seriously, because I can't talk to him on the phone. We do have a phone, and we do have video conferencing sometimes on the weekends with our family. So I try to see my dog, but I can't really t uh, take him for a walk on Earth and feel the sun and feel the wind and feel the sand on my feet at the beach. Over. Well, we've been up here now for about four months, and we go back home in about two weeks. So generally, the, the time that people are spending up here is about four months to six months. But next year, we might, or two years, we might have somebody stay up here for a whole year. Over. Yeah, well, we do all sorts of stuff, from science experiments to going out and doing a spacewalk and to construction even on the space station to maintaining it because it's like your house or your car, so things break up here. We're doing science experiments on ourselves as well as materials, like seeing how fire burns in space, also how liquids flow in space, and also like new systems. We even have fish up here, over.